Hey everybody, Keith Hilson with the Trombone Shop at Schmidt Music. Now, I am not actually at the Trombone Shop today. I am on location today specifically at the Vincent Bach Factory in Elkhart, Indiana. This is kind of a dream come true for me. This is something I've really wanted to do for a really long time. I've gotten a chance to visit a couple of other makers, but I've always wanted to see the Bach Factory, where they're making Bach, and now, of course, a lot of the, the Con Trombones and King and others. And and to see you know this this facility in action get to experience it and so i was so fortunate to be invited recently by uh con selmer to come out and actually pick out our next batch of uh con selmer trombone specifically bach and con in in this particular instance as a part of their artist select program now if you're not familiar with the artist select program this is the program where they have artists or you know others who are in the the industry like myself come in and do exactly that you know, go through and hand pick through all of the available instruments to find kind of the, the best of the best of the best and make those available here. So I had an opportunity to do that. I thought I would share for just a, a few minutes kind of what I've been experiencing today. So this is where I've been spending most of my time today out on the factory floor here. So there are, of course, a number of different areas to the factory, um, kind of in their shipping receiving area along with where they do final assembly, which is off in that direction. They have set up the area for all of the, the, you know, the artist selections. Or, um, of course, they, they will have individuals come in to find their new horns as well. So they've got this particular area set aside for this. So I have been going through all day today and trying out all of these instruments and really trying to narrow down and it hasn't been an easy choice because they've all been varying degrees of fantastic but going through and trying to narrow down exactly what we are going to be bringing into the company to stock for our next batch of cons and box here so went through and actually ended up with eight trombones we're going to be bringing back with us i've got a couple of really great bach 42 bo's with yellow brass bells um i wasn't really looking for a bog with a gold brass bell but i found one i just immediately fell in love with i said yeah we might have to pull the trigger on it um i've got a really really fantastic bach 42 af that we found that i'm really excited about um went through and actually selected three con 88 h's the 88 h's continue to be you know super popular for us especially in our region and so i went through and selected three of those and i actually went through and found a brand new con 36h alto uh this one here as a matter of fact um, I was going through and it was another one of those where I said, boy, I would really just, if I find kind of the, the, the real golden one, I might pick it up. And sure enough, one came out of the mix. I said, oh, that is a, a beautiful example of these 36 H's. So kind of included all of that in there. So again, a lot of today was just going through and trying these instruments out trying and going through and trying to compare them. And it, it really varies, very subjective after a while, but it, it, it really down to nuances. Um, in terms of well in this particular instrument had a just a little bit more resonance in this register or you know when in really quick articulate passages this one just had a little bit more clarity or had a little bit more consistency and smoothness but again it is really really it, it, it can be tough to differentiate and frankly it's a little subjective as well <laughs> so you know, my taste is going to be a little bit different than everybody else, but I'm certainly trying to play to the middle. What's going to work for a lot of our folks? And again, I think I've got some real gems that we're going to be, you know, having brought back, having sent to us that I'm really, really excited about. And again, just the opportunity to see the factory in action. I got a chance to go through and tour the factory um, and really get to see kind of everything that's happening with it, which again, is one of the things I really kind of geek out about. I love all everything that's involved with this process of creating these instruments, the artistry of it. And for me, it really does come down to that, that idea of the artistry. You know, we think of a, a, a huge company like Con Summer, one of the biggest, you know, music instrument producers in the world. In the Bach factory here, there are 150 some people. It, it, and it sounds like a lot, but really it's not. Of course, we understand with brass instruments, there are so many steps involved with it. There are so many different processes involved with it that with any one job, there are one or maybe a couple of people doing any of these one tasks. and 
they are you know unbelievably skilled and experienced in what they're doing and the attention to detail that they're showing is is really 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 amazing we think we we can think of it as again it's a huge factory it's got to be this big assembly line trust me being here in person the assembly line is is about as convoluted as you can get and there are so many steps involved it, it's hard to even believe how much work goes into every single one of these instruments and again i'm just i consider myself fortunate to be able to see this in action and really be able to understand where these instruments are coming from and again the care and the the skill and the artistry that goes into them i think it's a really really cool thing and i think it's important for us as musicians to understand that to appreciate that as well so anyway just wanted to give you a quick little snippet of what i've been up to so i hope you enjoyed the video here as well as always if you did uh, feel free to you know, leave some comments below here uh click that uh, like button if you liked it click the subscribe button if you haven't already done so and hopefully we'll talk to you soon again soon see you later